Hello everybody. I thought I'd show you how to make a felt ball garland with acorn caps. All different colors. Super easy. Super easy. This is a super quick um, tutorial. Um, the felt balls are, I got at Michael's, they're called Dimensions um, Felt, I think it's felt felting balls. I know it's dimensions. Um, you can get a small bag. They're like $3.99 and a larger bag is I think $13.99. But if you use your half off coupon, they're still pretty affordable. And you have several left over after you finish making this garland, even if you make it pretty long. The other thing that you need is some acorns from your backyard or somebody else's backyard or the park. Just find an oak tree. This time of year you'll find the um, acorns pretty much all over the place and people are usually more than happy to get rid of them. Um, so what you do is you take your cap off. You just pull it off. It's super easy to get off. This one was on here. Pull it off. And then paint it with some gloss varnish. You probably want to clean it first. Use a toothbrush or something because you probably see lots of, lots of dirt here that came off of them. Um, so clean it and then paint it with your your gloss varnish you know then they come out nice and um, shiny they don't turn out too shiny but they definitely look more almost waxed and then what you want to do is take your felt balls see how firm they are this is a regular pom-pom you can pretty much squish that flat the felt balls are tight and you can't squish them all the way in they're they're nice but you can take your hands and you can roll them together like this and then you get um, more of an oval shape that will fit into your your caps better so then you just put it like that and then take some glue put inside your cap press your pom-pom in there let it set for a minute and then you take your jute string. I think a little bit on the thicker side is nice. Um, the really thin stuff maybe would be okay if you were doing a bunch of little tiny ones like this. But um, I think the thicker string is nice. And then you take that, put your glue up here on top, glue it to your string, and then it looks like this. And you can hang it on top of your mantle, on top of your china cabinet. You can roll it up and just put it on a three-tiered tray. You can put it pretty much anywhere. On top of your kitchen cabinet somewhere. They're really cool. And um, if you want to make smaller ones or you don't want to spend the money on the more expensive pom-poms, you can just buy regular, regular pom-poms and um, try to find the acorns that are smaller and um, put them in there. See, this is just a regular pom-pom glued inside of this one. This would be a good project for you to do with kids also, but you'd want to use either a low temp hot glue gun or like ESAP 6000 or something and put in there. And then I think a bunch of these, like just sitting in a, um, in like a little wooden bowl or something like that on your coffee table would be pretty too. Sometimes we don't want candy all the time on our coffee table and stuff in a dish so you could do something like this and it looks super cute. Um, I, I guess that's it. That's an easy project and if you have any questions let me know. I'll let you I'll help you as best as I can. If you wanted to use some styrofoam balls inside of the caps you could do that also. Let me pull one of these out of here see what this looks like. That one was dried up. Came out kind of easy. But you could paint this and you could stick this in there. And that would be cute too, see? Very cute. Alright, thank you. Let me know if you have any questions. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.